Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, I'm Joanna Coles, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. Now, October is Port Month, and Leanne Martin, Logan County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources, is here to help us celebrate. Good morning, That's right. Leanne. Good morning, how are you? I am great, and I love good pork chop, bacon, so I, the whole all the cuts in, in, a, in a hog, I love. And so just talking a little bit about that though, a lot of people don't think we have a whole lot of pork production, but yes. we actually do in South Central Kentucky. Yes, we are. We're very fortunate that we do have a large hog operation here really close, but hogs are everywhere. It's just a matter of finding them. They, they're not as open as they used to be, so. Yeah, and you guys just have a really, you celebrated a really big yes. hog show in yes. Logan County yeah. with a bunch of youth. Absolutely, the hog industry and the hog, the hog livestock push, for, especially for youth, has blown up, especially in our county. We were really fortunate to have a little over 30 kids participate in our local hog show, which is Logan County only. So that's a huge number to have over 30 kids interested in raising their own hogs for, for custom, custom cuts and things like that for yeah. our, our community members. And what a great way to teach kids about hog production. You know, when I was Absolutely. growing up, there was very few people very few. that had hogs. And so I think that's a really neat thing that they're going to be able to learn. Absolutely. And about the cuts, because that's yes. a terminal show, right? Yes, it is a terminal show. So we're really excited not only to bring the education to our youth about production and raising and even finance and budgeting and things like that that you have to know when you're in any kind of production but on the flip side we're also teaching our community members that are the ones consuming those carcasses and those meat products that hey this is here local you can get meats local not if it's pork beef whatever wherever you need um, but it is a great opportunity for education of how you can do that. That you can't, the whole hog can't make bacon? Exactly. Wouldn't it be it was, great if it could? <laughs> amen to that. <laughs> Isn't that a shame? But, but absolutely just understanding that okay if I want pork chops, I can't get a tenderloin. So mm -hmm. ha having that understanding of where the cuts are, uh, when I go to the grocery store, if I order it custom, what am I actually ordering? What am I getting? It's a great opportunity. And I love the fact that the Kentucky is off has promoted that October is pork month. So yeah, the governor just signed a proclamation earlier this month. Exactly. So it's really great. It's good promotion for the Pork Association and uh, and our pork producers. It's a great opportunity for them as well. And Leah, I think one of the things when you're when you're cooking pork, they've lowered the standard yes. for the temperature, and I think yes. that makes all the difference. Because yes. a lot of people that I talked to were like, I didn't, I don't like pork because it's dry. dry. What's well, overcooking it? That's right. That's right. And there's a lot of different different ways of cooking it and preparing that uh, so it doesn't dry out. And a lot of it is temperature and timing, just like with anything, any kind of steak or any type of thin or cut. Uh, meat, the faster you cook, the the faster it's going to dry out. Mm -hmm. So if you can do it slower, uh, even at a higher temperature, you can still keep it moist, keep that moisture in there, and still have a great great thing on your plate. And you know, I know you guys also like to barbecue in Logan <laughs> County. Yes. And so, you know, ribs, Boston butts, yes, all that. You absolutely. Know, it, it's all part of that animal. But if people have questions about cooking times or temperatures, yes. I know you have a chart here. Where did yes. you get this? This was on uh, the po uh, pork checkoff website is a great opportunity. Not only does it go through the cuts and temperatures and things like that, it even goes further on that you can pick which portion of the hog that you're interested in or would like to become more familiar with and know exactly what you can get for that loin or that chop or um, that roast, how much you can get. And it's great information. The pork checkoff is a great source. All right, so if you're going through the grocery store, and I know they've been running some great sales on yes. pork, you know, yes. and you're like, I don't know how to fix a whole loin. You can go to this website and it'll kind of walk you through, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And just like everything else, once you buy in bulk with a full loin or things like that, you can slice it at home. It's very easy, very manageable, and you can even freeze some of that as well. So knowing how and when and things like that, depending on your family size and things, mm -hmm. how you want to cut and slice those tenderloins and things. It's a great opportunity and the pork checkoff and other resources from the University of Kentucky and the Kentucky Pork Producers, there's a lot of information out there that, that'll help you do that. All right, so pork is kind of the king of breakfast meat, <laughs> uh, but there's so much more to do with all of that. And I know, now Leanne, can other people come and buy pork at absolutely, your hog show? Absolutely, So you might want to call Leanne to find out when next year's is and get down there and 
you know, it's always fun to walk, watch a hog show. Absolutely. But when you can actually buy some of the meat that these kids have raised, it's just kind of full circle. And Absolutely. A nice event. So, Leanne, thanks for the information. Celebrate with us. October is Pork Month. We appreciate all of our hog farmers out there in Kentucky, and thanks for watching. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.